it's Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager, and I'm doing a series of videos right now for singers and how to get your singing career started. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a talent manager in Los Angeles, California, and I help actors and singers get their professional careers started. So this is video number six in this series. If you're just popping in here, go back to number one and watch all of them. I'm doing 21 ways to get your singing career started. And this video is about recording yourself. Start recording yourself, okay? So we've talked about training, we've talked about singing live, we've talked about learning how to perform, all kinds of stuff. But now it's time to start making videos of you singing. You might have already been doing a lot of what I've talked about or some of it may be new to you and you're just starting in some of these ways. Perfect, wherever you are is perfect. You are learning how to create visual, a visual, video and visual comes out, visual, if you know what I mean visual documentation of your talent, right? So that means get your iPhone out and start singing. Uh, I'm on my, my computer right now. I'm using QuickTime. I'm talking straight to the camera, talking to you guys, and then I'm going to upload this video on YouTube. So if I was singing, I would be doing the same thing. I could sing right to this camera. I can sing in my YouTube, in my uh, iPhone and sing. And people can record me. I can record myself. But you've got to be able to prove that you can sing and listen, you want to show people your talent. You want to show people what you've done. And if you've learned how to sing in key and you know how to sing, you know, it's time to start recording yourself and putting your stuff out there. And that could be covers, you know, you could just be recording covers. So one of the things I would say when you're singing, and if you're, if you're watching, if you're like me, you're watching singers all the time, right? You're going on YouTube, you're watching people sing, you're watching, scrolling through TikTok and Instagram and watching people sing like I do. Um, I would say don't be in the dark. That's one of the things that annoys me when I watch singers, you know, post their stuff. It's in the dark. I can't see them. Don't do that. Let's not get too dramatic. We need to see you. Okay. Um, also don't be singing down here the whole time. Not always the top of your head. That's all we see. No, get up here and sing, you know, sing to the camera, sing to yourself, sing in your own feelings, you know, whatever room in the house you're in, sing, make sure you got some light in there. I would say don't have so much clutter going on all around behind you. Uh, we want to watch you, not all the crap in your room, right? Um, and this is not a professional video. I'm not talking about recording a music video yet. I'm talking about just like record a self-tape of you singing. Um, start getting used to the process of putting yourself on tape and singing. And some people might say, look, I don't, I don't really like to see myself sing. You got to see what you're doing. Okay, but I don't want you to judge yourself really harshly. I mean, that's that's kind of important thing I want to talk about for a minute. When you're becoming a singer, you're learning and you're learning all the time how to become a better singer. You're taking classes, you're performing live. Uh, you're not Ariana Grande the moment you step out on stage, you know, or Michael Jackson or whatever. You are you and you're just learning. So you're going to get better over time. And a lot of times I hear people, they've been wanting to sing forever, but they've been afraid to sing or they didn't know where to sing or how to get started. So hopefully this video series is going to help you with that. Also, I hear a lot of people worried about, I wonder, you know, what people are going to think about me and if I'm good enough. Uh, you know, if you're worried about if you're good enough, train more take singing classes, take voice classes. I was reading some of the comments below one of my videos and they were saying, you know, uh, my mom doesn't want me to sing. She doesn't think I sing well enough. Okay. Listen, I've sunk with some of the great singers in my life, in my career as a singer, with some of the great singers. And one thing I can tell you is they're totally themselves. They're not trying to be like anybody else and either should you. But they are trained and they are prepared and they have experience, but they didn't have it when they started. Okay, so wherever you're starting from is totally okay. You don't have to be a professional singer tomorrow. You just need to work at it every day. Work at getting better every day. When I first started singing, I, I just sing because I love it. And I would put my music on and record myself and sing and listen back and listen back and listen back and fix every note I sang wrong and uh, get better and better and better and better with practice over time. Whether you're performing live, you'll get better, you'll get better, you'll get better. I went from standing perfectly still, like in, afraid, to being able to sing with all my heart and soul, like don't even have a single ounce of fear in my body. 
So you're going to get better over time. When you record yourself on videos, you might think, oh my God, this sucks. In the beginning, it might suck. Don't be afraid to suck when, you get, when you're just getting started, right? Nobody starts as a professional. If you guys are into sports at all, or if you guys love like great singers like Taylor Swift or you know, Christina Aguilera, Mariah Carey, or Usher, any of the great singers, right? They didn't start out making no mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody starts from scratch. And they get to that level because they've worked so hard at getting better. And when they suck, they don't go, oh, well, I quit. <laughs> they just work harder. And I want to suggest you do the same thing. There are times you're going to make a video, you're not going to like it. So what? Make another one. There are times you're going to go sing in front of people and you might screw up. So what? Keep going. Do it again. Practice. Get better. Work harder. Okay? Nobody cares about, you know, nobody's going to get, say they don't like your music. So what? I, I, that's what I was trying to say before. I've summoned a lot of great singers in my time. And one of the things that Michael McDonald told me years ago from the Doobie Brothers, you probably don't know who that is unless you're my age, then you might, but... Um, he said, sing on everything and remember that you're only making music for your fans. The people that hate you are never going to buy it. So you're making music for yourself, you're singing for you, and you're singing for your fans, the people that love your music. And there will be people that love your voice and they love your music. And the people that don't are not your fans, so don't worry about them, right? So you're singing because you love to sing, right? And you're going to make music because you love the feeling it creates in your being when you sing. There's like, if, if I know you understand me, because if you're a singer, you know what I'm talking about, right? When you're singing, you're in another world. You're in another world. You're in this special place that only singers know. And that's the place where all your beautiful creativity is and where, you're, where you live in this space, in your, feet, in your heart, your head, your mind, your soul, where you make music. And when you do that, when you're done singing, you, you come out of it and you're like, okay, I'm in the room. Right? You come back to reality. Lose yourself in that place. Lose yourself in that place. Because if you're thinking about what people think about you, you're not in that place. So practice singing live and getting lost in that place. Practicing in front of audiences, getting lost in that place. Practice putting yourself on recordings and getting lost in that place. That is the place where your genius lives and where your incredible, beautiful talent and your voice and your gift lives, right? So record yourself, and then when you've got some good recordings of yourself, and you've looked at them, and maybe you've gone, ah, redo it again, redo it again, redo it again, until it's something you like. Then you can put it on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, the Twitter, whatever. Put it everywhere. Put it everywhere. Now, as you put these videos out, sometimes people will say some rotten shit, okay? Let's not be, let's be very clear. Not everybody's going to like your voice. Uh, that's no reason to not be a singer. My dad doesn't like Mariah Carey's voice. Well, that's not true. He likes Mariah Carey's voice. He doesn't like Barbara Streisand's voice. And if you're a singer with any history or understanding of the music, history of music, you know that Barbara Streisand is one of the greatest singers of all time. To some. To others, my dad doesn't like her at all. He doesn't like the sound of her voice. Okay. Everybody doesn't like everybody. Not everybody likes every singer. There are some there are some singers I don't like, and other people love them. Millions and millions of people love them. Uh, not everyone is going to like, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> and I'm not starting this video over because I'm just human, and humans sneeze. Uh, uh, just be yourself, right? People are going to resonate with who you really are, your authentic, beautiful, wonderful self. When you start putting out videos for the first time, recording them and putting them out, you're going to get hate comments too, okay? But you're also going to get the people who love your voice. Those are the only ones that matter. And if you're putting yourself out in public, because I haven't told you to do that yet, but I'm telling you now, if you are putting videos up of yourself, remember, there will be people who hate you and hate your music and there'll be people who love you and love your music. And if you're going to be a professional singer, you can't avoid the public, right? You can't avoid that. I'm a professional figure, okay? I have a following on YouTube. I make videos. I have um, a Facebook group with 100 and 
I don't know, 15 or 14,000 people in my Facebook group. If you're, if you're not there, it's called Talent Managers for Actors. And you can join it and ask any questions you want. Just tag me, I'll answer. Um, I help a lot of people get started in this business. I'm telling you, I help tens of thousands of people get started in this business. And everybody doesn't like me. There's some people that hate me. They don't like me because I'm happy. They don't like me because I'm bubbly. They don't like me because I'm honest. They don't like me because I'm, uh, I'm successful. They don't like me because I, uh, I'm good at what I do. And there are other people that thank God I was born so that I could be here to help them. And that's a big difference, right? I hate you or you're the most amazing thing I've ever known in my life. You got to really understand this concept. You are independent. You're independent of the good or bad opinions of others. Like, you can't define yourself based on other people's opinions. If I did that, I'd be like, oh, I suck. Oh, I'm great. Oh, I'm okay. I'm bad. You don't like me. Oh, you like me, right? You can't change every time someone has an opinion. So when you start to put your stuff out there, if you read the comments, some people are going to be like, this sucks. She can't sing. He can't sing. You know, don't, you know, you should quit. You'll never be a singer. Oh, well, feel what you want. You're not my people. You're not my people. The people that like your voice. Now, if everybody is saying your voice is terrible, you might want to get back into singing classes because they might be telling you something. But if you look under my videos sometimes and you look at the comments, and I've done hundreds of videos, 99% of the people, thank you so much, Wendy. That was awesome. I learned so much. You're amazing. I'm so glad you, you know, you're here doing this for us. And then there'll be a comment once in a while. You suck, Wendy. You're a jerk. Okay. Don't pay attention to that. Now, if everybody was saying that, then I must be doing something wrong, right? If everybody is saying that, then that might be a clue. Pay attention. If everybody says you're singing off key, you're not singing well enough, you know, you're singing suck, everybody is saying bad things, then stop posting your videos, take them down, and go take some serious act, uh, singing lessons. Go learn how to sing. Because everybody's not wrong, right? Everybody's not wrong. If everyone is saying you're singing out of key, then you probably are. If a few people are saying something and everyone else loves it, it's probably just a few people being jerks. And you have to know the difference if you're going to become a professional singer or a music star or a celebrity. I can tell you, even Taylor Swift, right? She's dating Kelsey. Uh, she gets hate comments all the time. If you, like, be careful of Instagram and Twitter. And, like, there are haters out there that just say the most nasty things. Don't get bothered by that. It's going to take you some time. I had to learn how to not get bothered by that, and I don't care anymore. People say whatever they want. I do what I do. I don't care. And you got to get to that place, too. Like, you don't care. Pay attention. Record your videos. Make sure they're well lit. You know, dress comfortably in the cool way or however you want to dress, what your style is, whatever. But know that that will get better over time. Your videos will get better. You will get better as a singer. You'll get better as a performer. And you'll start... Um, developing your own style and, and figuring out your own expression as an artist. And all of that takes time. And I don't want you to beat yourself up over any of the process of becoming the artist and the singer that you're going to be 10 years from now. Because who you are today is not who you're going to be five years from now or even next year. You're always going to be growing, okay? So start recording yourself. Start putting yourself out there. Pay attention to the comments only as helpful feedback to tweak what you're doing. If a whole bunch of people say, oh, I can't hear you, the sound's not good, probably the sound's not good. If a whole bunch of people say, oh, you know, it's too dark or too distracting, pay attention. Uh, ignore those crazy mean comments that pop out of the blue, they will come. And just keep going. I really love you guys. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you as a singer. Uh, that was video six. We're going to go on to the next one, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys.